welcome back to my channel. So this is a morning weekday routine in lockdown. Watching this back, I kind of realised I don't really sit down much, so I do look quite busy. I wonder why I'm exhausted all the blooming time. But anyway, I really hope you enjoy it. It's generally what we've been doing since after the Easter holidays, I would say I've really kind of got a routine down. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and let's get on. So our morning starts pretty much when Miles wakes up. This particular morning, he woke up at half past six. He had woken up twice prior to that at quarter past one and quarter past five. So um, yeah, anyway, half past six is a decent time. I'm happy with that. He woke up with a nice stinking nappy. I changed him, we had a little morning feed. As you know, Graham is a farmer, as you can see he's not here, he was up at about half past five and out of the door. Um, yeah, we basically sat and watched a bit of CBeebies for about half an hour. Um, we tend to do this most mornings, uh, especially if it's super early. I've just got into this habit of just putting him in bed and just sticking the TV on just to entertain him. And um, yeah, a little bit of Teletubbies helps. So I generally pop on my gym clothes because I usually try and work out in the morning. Here's Violet, I just wanted to show you a little clip of her. She was still sando, which is fair enough. Um, anyway, Miles again had a nice stinking nappy. Today was the day of really, really rotten nappies. So I uh, changed them again. So then we go and let the doggies out for a wee and just run around the garden. And as you can see, I prop Miles with Alistair in front of the fire, nice and cozy. As you can see, Alistair is on his Nintendo Switch, which is totally fine. I just let the kids kind of relax in the morning and just let them do whatever they want to do, chill out, watch a bit of TV. So then I go back into the kitchen and I make myself a coffee. This is start my day. I also pour myself a fresh bottle of water. And then one thing that I forgot to do was to make Miles' breakfast. He's been loving overnight oats. So it's literally just his baby porridge and some Greek style yogurt. Give it a good mix. I add a little bit of oat milk just to thin it out a little bit. And then one thing I added as well, which he loves, is frozen berries. Again, this is such a good one to do the night before. Um, but he won't be eating it within about half an hour so it's, it's got enough time to kind of thaw out and thicken up a little bit. Um, I make myself coffee, I've been using this oat creamer which has been really nice and yeah we pretty much sit and play um, in the morning before he's kind of ready to kind of eat breakfast a lot of the time. So generally we always try and have like meals together like breakfast, lunch, dinner but with this homeschooling thing and with just everyone doing things at different times, Miles usually when he gets up he's back to bed within the hour and he's quite hungry. So sometimes I'll give him breakfast first a little bit earlier. Um, sometimes they only eat half his breakfast and then have half later with us, it just depends. Um, he had literally about six or seven spoonfuls and he was done. So um, yeah, I pretty much just kind of put the rest of it in the fridge for later. I finished off my coffee and um, yeah, I think Graham come in at this point and um, I got the kids breakfast stuff out ready. They're pretty much so self-sufficient. They love the cereal and um, I propped Miles with Violet for a little bit. Um, he absolutely loves being with her. And then I, as you can see Graham's in, they're all having breakfast and I went off to the gym um, I fed the rabbits, let them out, and I also let the chickens out as well. By this time, it was only 10 past eight, um, but my routine at the moment, I've been just trying to just kind of look after myself. You'll notice from this video, I don't really sit down. I am like go, go, go all the time, and sometimes I just don't really get any time to myself, so I've kind of prioritized myself in the morning when Graham comes in for breakfast just to have a bit of me time. So this like gym session, like I stay in here for about half an hour, 40 minutes at max, um, just to work out, make myself feel good. And um, as you know, I love to work out. It's just such an adrenaline thing for me. And um, I've been using YouTube workouts at the moment just to keep things fresh and updated and, and just, just kind of keep me motivated really. So um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. So I did this workout, which was actually a really good one. You didn't need anything. It was literally like 
um, you could add weights if you wanted to, which I added a little um, dumbbell. But other than that, it was just a quick hit. And then as I was coming in, I noticed Alistair had started on his maths work, which is amazing. He can be so motivated some days, but then other days he really can't. Um, yeah, and I, then I literally came in, I thought, right, I need to make the bed. This is one thing that I used to, before Miles, I used to make my bed as soon as I got up. It was just my daily routine, but it, some things just have to take a back seat and I just wait until I have a chance to do it. As you notice, I probably do most things when Miles naps. He needs my full attention, I feel like. Um, anyway, I hop in the shower. Just refresh this is another place where I could just you know have a little bit of thinking time which is really nice I use this really lovely serum on my face um, I don't use a lot of products to be perfectly honest I've fa I found going simple has really helped my skin so I use a little bit of that serum and then a bit of deodorant and the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream which is kind of an all-purpose cream I just use it on my lips though and then I use the Cocoa Butter Natural Bronze. This is basically just a really gentle self-tan moisturiser. I absolutely love it for this time of year. It just gives you a little bit of a natural glow. And if you're pale like me, it won't turn you orange. It's very, very subtle. Um, by this time, we are just after nine o'clock. So as you can see, the kids have made their beds. Um, Alistair is nearly 11 and Violet's eight and a half. So they're very independent self-sufficient so I don't have to worry about their rooms most of the time I do declutter here and there um, one thing I did do was pop on a load of washing which I tend to do again once Miles naps just one load of washing a day just helps with the washing load um, and then also I just crack on with my breakfast so I pulled out some berries for myself earlier and then I made some homemade granola, which is a few videos back, I'll leave it linked. I had some Greek style yogurt and some of this coconut honey and I pretty much just sit in the lounge with the kids and just have a few minutes while Miles is still napping um, and yeah, just finish off my breakfast and then I always stick on Good Morning Britain, not gonna lie, I, I love it. <laughs> It's really bad but I love it and then I sort myself out and for some reason I tend to walk around and brush my teeth I don't know why it's just one of those habits um, and then yeah just looking out of the window seeing what the weather's like for today um, I never really put on any makeup or anything I just can't be bothered I don't even dry my hair at the moment um, but one thing I did do was just do a little bit on the computer while Miles was still napping I just thought I might as well take advantage get a few bits done. So as you can see, it's about half past nine now. Miles is having a lovely long morning nap. I think he's just reached over an hour, prompt the kids to get ready for the day. And yeah, I whiz around, pick up around the living area um, before home schooling. We start doing schoolwork around 10 o'clock, never dead on time, but it just depends really again what what's going on whether Miles is napping or not. Violet had a quick dip outside and she loves pushing around Miles's push chair and um, yeah the kids are just a little bit free before we start a little bit of homeschool. So Miles had just over an hour nap which is amazing. We pulled out the worksheets. I usually set this up the night before, print off a few things. The kids use a bit of seesaw um, I have a few websites that I print off worksheets, I will leave them linked and as you can see Miles is awake so I just, yeah, while the kids crack on with their worksheets, they're very um, independent, I get Miles ready for the day, a fresh baby grow pretty much and um, yeah, check on the kids, see how they're doing, they obviously need a bit of guidance with some things, a little bit of prompting um, and also just you know, a bit of encouragement and just checking on them really that's pretty much what I'm there for I'm not I usually try and give Miles a quick feed it just depends really on him he's so hit and miss at the moment with feeding he gets so distracted but today he actually had a really good feed um, and yeah we sat 
with the children. I did some marking with Alice. I also tested them both with their spellings. And um, it was actually a really good homeschooling day. Like some days can be so bad and we just don't get enough done. But today was good. Violet does this game also where she matches the answers with the multiplication, which she does every single morning. I switch them up all the time on times tables. She loves that. Um, and yeah, Miles was just playing on the floor. The kids finished with a little bit of reading. Alistair chose to read in his room, just was a bit quieter. And then I also managed to get the load of washing out onto the line as it was nice and sunny. So we managed to get over an hour in of homeschool, which was a really good morning session. Um, and then we took a walk. Um, I've tried to break it up a little bit, so I'm taking the dogs for a walk in the mornings. Um, and then we have an afternoon walk as well around the farm. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm just strapping Miles into the pushchair and we take a nice little stroll. Usually about, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes. It's just what I do when I'm out so try not to hold me down feel alive quite enjoy going for a walk in the morning and the afternoon I just feel like it breaks up the day a bit um, also the kids get a little bit you know when they get a little bit peckish before lunch it just takes their mind off eating um, if we get a bit of fresh air and yeah just it's just nice isn't it just getting out and it just you know occupies them in other ways it's also um grain was cutting in silage so we were just watching the tractors and the balers go past had a look at the lambs and the pigs so we got back in had a good big you know 30 35 minute walk and then back on to mum duty I emptied the dishwasher. Sometimes I get to do this in the morning, sometimes I don't, like early morning, should I say. Um, and then I thought I'd make some pizza pinwheels. Kids love these for lunch and they are so easy. So I actually got the pastry out of the freezer the night before and they literally take about 20 minutes in the oven and it's just a quick and easy lunch for everybody. As you can see, the kids were entertaining Miles for me, and that is pretty much our morning routine. We got up to about midday. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have, and let me know if it's similar to yours. Um, yeah, I hope you're all well and safe, and I will see you all very soon.